Department of Space, let me express our greetings on the occasion of National Space Day celebration to each and every one of you who are here. Honorable Minister of State, Yidendra Sanghi, Chairman in Space, Principal Scientific Advisor to PM, Secretaries of various departments, Space Commission member, Director, IAAC, our former Chairman and Secretary Department of Space, under whose guidance the Chandrayaan-3 was successfully accomplished, Mr. Somano, sir. Directors of ISRO centers and units, <laughs> program directors, project directors, Mr. Suklaji and all the four Gaganyatris identified by Honorable Prime Minister, my dear friends from BOS ISRO family, and students, media, persons from media, very, very good morning to all of you. It is a great privilege and honor for me to welcome all of you and all the gatherings here for the second National Space Day celebration. When you see the National Space Day, I think we have to thank a couple of people. 23rd August 2023 was a historical day. India successfully landed, soft landed Chandrayaan-3 near the South Pole of Moon and we became the only one country and first country successfully soft landed near the South Pole of Moon. On this occasion, first of all, I have to express our gratitude to all the people for that great achievement. Honorable Prime Minister of India, who is a visionary leader and our minister, who has given directions and guidelines to carry out the space activities. It was Honorable Prime Minister who named the spot where the Chandrayaan-3 landed as the Sivasakti Point also declared 23rd August as the National Space Day. And let us give you a big hand and our gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister of India for declaring this as a National Space Day. Also guiding us and directing us to take Indian space program to greater and greater heights to meet the Big Sig Bharat 2047. Coming to our Honorable Minister of State, he is part of us. He is like our brother, like a guide, like a mentor. Almost alternate today, we discuss with him all the issues. And he is always guiding us in the best possible way. And he is with us as the guest, chief, chief guest today. So let us welcome him too. And when he was the minister, that time only the Chandrayaan-3 was successful. You can understand how much guideline and direction would have come from him. Coming to next person, when you talk about the Chandrayaan missions, the Chandrayaan-1, which found water molecule on the south, water molecule on the moon, was accomplished when the great people Chairman, Madhav Nair was the chairman of ISRO. And then Chandrayaan 2, Dr. Sivan was in the forefront leading. Not only leading, Chandrayaan 2, you all know we could not soft landed, but we have placed the best camera of India in moon's orbit, the on-orbit high resolution camera. The credit goes to Dr. Sivan and the entire team at that point of time. And when Chandrayaan 2, there was a setback. There was a national committee constituted and I think a couple of members are here, there were 10 member committee. And we were given a direction to complete the studies in 30 days and submit the report. And I want to tell dear friends, it was a Herculean task, but the committee worked almost three and a half, only slept almost three and a half hours per day. And a 1100 page report with 107 recommendation was submitted to then chairman, Dr. Sivan. And today entire thing is implemented. And the success came when Dr. Somanath was the chairman of ISRO. So let us give a big hand when Somanath led the entire team from the forefront for that great success. Then comes to the Mars Orbiter mission. India is the only country and first country accomplished Mars Orbiter mission in the first attempt. And Dr. Radha Krishnan who was leading from the forefront. And let us also thank him on this occasion. And there are leaders, Dr. Kiran Kumar, Without Kiran Kumar, there is no interplanetary missions. 
every mission his hand was there chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 mars orbiter mission and aditya everywhere he was there and of course all our former chairmen starting from sarabhai to professor sadish thawan to professor u r rao to professor menon to dr kasturi rangan one of the greatest son of soil so on this occasion let me remember all of their contribution let me thank them on this fantastic day and dear friends after the last year celebration last year celebration was done here under the leadership of dr somnath and after the last year celebration lot of achievements and accomplishments one of the major achievement is the sending our own gaganyatri to international space station iss and it was again honorable prime minister who has to be thanked it was his idea that before sending the gaganyatri to through our rocket we should send one of them to the international space station and his vision led to a great success today isro team has successfully executed and sukla ji has gone to the space station and come back safely let us give a big hand to sukla ji when you talk about sukla ji we should not forget three of his colleagues who are with us basically we are having four people i used to say all the four people are equal to us in power to us and of course finally only one person got the opportunity to go to international space station for that in your we had we credit him but then all the four people contribution is equal let us give a big hand to all the four gaganyatris on this occasion and coming to the achievements and accomplishments after the last space day celebration aditya l1 he successfully commissioned in the orbit and aditya l1 by placing that india becoming one among four countries having a satellite for studying the sun till today 15 terabit scientific data we have received and we have put for the entire scientific community and it was spared us docking experiment january 16 was a historical day we have successfully docked the two satellite rotating with 28400 km per hour and india becoming one among four countries demonstrating that great technology today and 29th january 2025 was another historic day the 100th launch vehicle mission was successfully and precisely accomplished from india and we have written in the golden letters of indian space history the 100th launch was a perfect success and then comes to the nsr launch nsr launch as far as isro is concerned it is a prestigious launch why it is a prestigious launch 1963 november 21st usa gave a tiny rocket for us to launch and august 1st 1975 we wanted to demonstrate mass communication through satellite technology and 2400 television sets were kept in six states of six states in 2400 villages for that a signal satellite signal was given by usa truly we were 60 years behind advanced countries in the space program at that point of time last month 30th the nsr satellite nasa isro synthetic aperture radar satellite the l band payload was realized by jpl nasa and s band by s band sar by isro entire satellite was built by isro and it was launched perfectly successfully within 2 km dispersion by indian launcher the gsli mark to vehicle and today dear friends a country which we are 60 years behind advanced space weary nations we are rubbing shoulder to shoulder with the developed nations and we are going to have a communication satellite of 6500 kg usa built a communication satellite which is going to be launched within couple of months that speaks volume when it comes to honorable prime minister of our country he is a different person with great tangential thinking the vision direction given by him based on his vision we are going to have a chandrayaan 4 mission we are going to have a venus orbiter mission we are going to have a space station called vas by 2035 india will have a space station on its own and the first module will be lifted off by 2028 and he has given approval for a nglv next generation launcher and next generation launcher configuration little bit we have modified the first launcher which lifted off from indian soil the slv3 the project director was none other than apj abdul kalam 
and done under the work under the leadership role of Professor Sadis Tawan. That capability of the vehicle was hardly 35 kg to low Earth orbit. I don't underestimate capability. At that point of time, it was a great capability. And the liftoff mass of the rocket was 17 ton. From that, we have moved gradually step by step. Today, we, are, we have conceived a rocket to take 80,000 kg to low Earth orbit and a 40-story height rocket with 2,600 ton capability, liftoff mass capability, powered by 27, 240 ton Lark Smith and Engine. What a significant and great progress. And dear friends, lot of new technologies we have demonstrated this year. The semi cryo propulsion system, we have made breakthrough. The test stand was declared to the country by Honorable Prime Minister of India in 2023. We have completed almost seven tests in that test stand. High thrust electric propulsion, lot of things are done. And finally, yes, satellite launch vehicle, everything is meant for application for the common man of this country. And application, we are doing outstanding work. There are 55 applications. And we had a national meet after 10 years. Yesterday, we have concluded. And that has given a direction, guideline for the application, including SAT communication, satellite navigation, and earth observation for the country. We conducted based on the direction of Honorable Prime Minister Chintan Shivya. He has given the vision for 2047. We have written the roadmap how to achieve that vision. Also, how to take the space program up to 1962, being the 100 years of ISRO, Indian space program. We have charted out the entire program. Today, everything is going to be released here. The theme of today's space program Space Day celebration from Aryapata to Gaganya, which pays tributes to the progress achieved by our ANC and astronomers and mathematicians of mathematicians. Over the decades, we have mastered a lot of technologies in the space program. In nutshell, under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister and able guidance of our Minister of State, and we have got the principal scientific advisor to PM, he gives then and there necessary direction and guideline. Also, the Space Commission members are here. IAC director is here. The theme of today's space program, Space Day Celebration, from Aryapata to Gaganya, which pays tributes to the progress achieved by our ANC and astronomers and mathematicians of mathematicians. Over the decades, we have mastered a lot of technologies in the space program. In nutshell, under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister and able guidance of our Minister of State, and we have got the principal scientific advisor to PM. He gives then and there necessary direction and guideline. Also, the Space Commission members are here. IAC director is here. And Kiran Kumar sir could not participate. And with all their guideline, vision, and the strong foundation made by the former leaders of ISRO, and the contribution of each and every one of you, I would like to say by 2040, India will be based on the direction of Prime Minister. We are going to land on the moon. The crewed mission will be on the moon, and we are going to bring back safely. Thereby, 2040, Indian space program will be in par with any other spacefaring nations in terms of launcher, in terms of human space flight program, in terms of application, in terms of satellite. Everything will be in par. Thanks to the entire leadership. And coming to my role, I think I'm not going to dwell much. First of all, let me welcome Honorable Minister for this very, very important National Space Day function. Let us welcome him. Let me welcome all the four Gaganya Tris who is on the stage for this function. Let me also welcome In Space Chairman. Let me welcome the former Chairman, Mr. Somnath, who was leading the role during the last Space Day celebration. He is with us. Let us welcome him. Let us welcome our PSA, Principal Scientific Advisor, who is with us, he is going to give the keynote speech. Let us welcome IAC Director, who is the Space Commission member on, for this function. Let us welcome the senior secretaries, including Secretary Science and Technology and other secretaries for this very, very important function. Let me also welcome all the directors, unit directors, centre directors, program directors, project directors, and all ISRO team for this function. When I welcome all of you, I will fail my duty unless I welcome all the family members who are here. Not everybody, a couple of family members are there. But for their support, surely we cannot perform well. I think Sukhlaji also totally agreed with me. Without Madam's support, he cannot perform well. And without my wife's support, surely I cannot perform well. 
that you all agree. So let us welcome all of them for this function. And very, very important team, which I have to acknowledge is the Prime Minister's office, PMO team, represented by Mr. Vipin Kumar, I think he is here in the front. And PMO strongly give clear direction. Whenever we little bit deviate here and there, there are clear directions, guidelines. So let me also thank them for their outstanding contribution. They are part of us and we are part of them and we are taking the pro program together. So with this, there are young students. You are the future leaders. Surely India will become a developed country by 2047. And based on the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, I request all of you to think tangentially and think how to contribute to make this country as a development, developed country and request you to contribute whatever way it is possible. Thank you. Let me once again welcome each and every one of you for this second <laughs> National Space Day celebration. Thank you. Jai Hind.